All right, guys. So you are in for a treat. We have a special guest, one of my friends and clients, uh, Mara. She's just going to um, tell you guys about her amazing progress. Like, I am so proud. And I don't ever say that in the beginning, but like, I am just extremely proud of her and the progress she's made. It's It's been incredible. And it's actually inspired me to go even harder with my fitness goals, believe it or not. I never even told you that, but yeah, that's definitely been uh, something that has been really shaping me. Just seeing what you've done, it's given me uh, more motivation to get better myself. So anyway, enough about me. (laughs) Let's talk about you. So coming into the program, what were your goals and what did you try before to achieve them? So my goals were to lose about 40 pounds. Um, I have gained a lot of weight um, last year and the year before, I guess. And I want to eat healthier. Um, Like I was running up the stairs and I'd be out of breath. Like I, I was trying to um, do workouts and I wouldn't even last 15 minutes on like the elliptical without like gasping for air. And, um, and then when I finally did start to get kind of like a workout routine going, I was going like six times a week, but my nutrition was just, it was not good. Like it was almost like I was working out and then I would kind of erase that by eating. So I stayed in like the 179 to 185 range all the time. Like it was not going down, um, because my nutrition was just shot. Um, so I knew that I needed to do something different and I knew I needed to invest in myself mm-hmm. and uh, God is good because I was scrolling on Instagram one day and I see your ad and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <I'll hear. laughs> and, um, and yeah, it's like as a Christian woman as well, when I saw that, you know, on your page that you're also Christian, I was like, I feel like I can, I can like, you know, trust this guy because I, I was offered like at my gym, um, personal, uh, trainers and stuff, but I just, I didn't vibe with them. Right. And then. Oh yeah, I remember got, you had told me that. I just, yeah. I didn't even remember that initially. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm not going to name any gym names, but it mm. was like, it was a crazy amount for like two times a week training. And, um, and yeah, I don't, I just didn't really vibe with them. Um, so I said no to that. And I kept procrastinating on getting like a personal trainer because it's like, Oh, well, you know, I can't afford it and blah, blah. But then I, I knew I was just making excuses because if I really wanted to, like, I'll go buy like, you know, a hundred dollars worth of Uber eats and, right, <laughs> and then sit there. Hey, and eat. You could do that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then when we got on our call, our very first call, I just got this really good vibe from you. And then even, even still, I was just like, the Holy ghost, by the way. Just... Yeah. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. For sure. <laughs> and even, I was still like, you know, telling myself, no, I can probably still do it on my own. But then like, I don't know, just the way our conversation went, it was just like, I need to invest in myself if I want, if I want to see results. And I just felt like I need to just take a leap of faith. Mm. And, and that's what I did. And since then I didn't, I have not looked back except to look at my like previous pictures. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, like, I can't mm. believe I did that. Yeah. So like, I had have like, you ever missed gym. one workout side note. Have, have you missed one? Not you one. One you're, I think you're the first, I remember there was one lady and I was like, wow, you've done the most workouts out of everybody, but she missed a few, but you've never missed one. No, not Dang. one. Yeah. And, um, and the thing with like the workouts is like, I, I was like, okay, I could probably, you know, do the same rest and same weight for like a couple of days. And then I'm like, no, I'm going to keep challenging myself. So I would either up a rep or up a set or up a weight or, you know, a mix of one or two of them. And yeah. And then like just working out just became something really, I don't know, something really meaningful for me because it gave me my confidence back. Right. I learned to love myself. I learned to love my progress. Um, and I learned how to have more compassion for myself because I used to listen to what everybody would say about what I look like and, and wanted validation from other people. And now it's like, I realize I'm doing this for myself and I'm the healthiest I've ever been. Like wow. I've been eating a lot better and I've been like, I cut out sugar, <laughs> which if anybody knows me would be like, I'm sorry, what you did? What? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like I'm I would go grocery shopping and I'm like sweating walking past the chips and the chocolates. I'm like, nope, <laughs> nope, Holy Spirit. Nope. Uh, not <laughs> today, Satan. Not today. Not today, Satan. Exactly. <laughs> 
And um, I even saw one of your uh, videos about um, snacking on nuts. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I used to think that was so healthy. Like I would be eating, mm. eating pistachios. And, like, right, right. Or like a trail mix. A trail mix. And I'm like, oh, there's raisins. <laughs> 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 yeah. But yeah, but like I, I, I was the one who would be like, oh no, me and salads, like that's what my food eats. You know what I mean? Like I'm all about the steaks and the pork and like, I would like, I would have like have a pack of bacon for breakfast. Like there was just no, like no diet plan. Um, and that was because like back then I had a really fast metabolism and then I hit my thirties and I think it like just slowed down. And I also quit like, you know, doing some bad things. So the weight came on like really quickly, actually. Um, and I just didn't feel good about myself. I didn't feel good that I couldn't even bend down to tie my shoes properly because like I had this big gut in the way. I call it my organ protector. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my. I like that. I like that. You know what? If anything, that's like a good alibi. Just say, yo, this is my organ protector. <laughs> Don't judge me because my organs are well protected. Exactly. <laughs> the thicker, the better. No, I'm kidding. Sure. <laughs> but I honestly, I was at a point where I was going to give up. I was just like, I've been working out for five months and I'm seeing no results. Like I went on vacation, um, like last November and I remember trying on bathing suits and I'm like, I'm never going to be able to wear a two piece in my entire life. And it was just like really defeating. And, um, I had gone through, um, a breakup and some other life events, um, over the last, like since the beginning of the year, actually. And that didn't stop me. And that's when I realized that like, you know, just having somebody like you keep me accountable, like logging my meals. I'm not going to lie. Like I'm scared sometimes when you text me, I'm like, oh my gosh, did I log my meals? <laughs> I know, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're not the first person to say that. Trust me. Yeah, I don't want to get blasted. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You've been impeccable. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's like, it was just, you know, mind over matter. And I knew that, you know, like I had to keep in mind, like, it's not going to get easier. I can't expect it to like get easier, but I can expect to get stronger, right. to get better, right. to have more stamina. And that's exactly it. I can go up the stairs. I can do the Stairmaster. I never, oh. I did the Stairmaster once for like five minutes and I almost died. <laughs> Yeah, you were climbing the stairway to heaven back then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and yeah, it's just um I'm just so grateful because um now like even like when I first start new workouts, um, say I think like month two, I think it was, and I was trying to like, you know, lift that barbell and had no weights on it. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can do 12 reps. Now I'm adding on plates and I'm like, what? Who am I? Who is this? Yeah. Um and yeah, it just it has a lot to do with just determination and discipline. And that's what I kept doing. Like people used to, well, like, you know, people that I care about, obviously used to be like, oh, just skip the gym today. Let's go out for drinks. Let's go out for dinner. I'm like, no, it doesn't fit my macros. And number two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, one shot of tequila is like, what? <laughs> like 500 calories? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, nah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I switched, you know, alcohol for protein. <laughs> exactly. Get shots so, of protein that'll never ever fail you, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. So let, let, let's talk about like the progress that people have noticed since you brought up like you know people saying, "Hey, let's go out, let's do this." So, what changes have people noticed uh, on you? What have they said about your progress? People have been like applauding, and you know, it, it's I'm working on accepting compliments. I've never been the type to like actually just say thank you <laughs> when people compliment sure. me. But like my Instagram inbox has been blowing up because what I've been doing to also keep myself accountable, even before I met you, was um, post a post-workout pic every single time I work out. And that was just to keep me accountable, to keep going, because I know there's going to be one or two friends being like, hey, what happened to you posting every day kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and people have noticed that, like, you know, you were posting every day. And like, I remember like after 90 days. I was like, I don't see a difference. I don't see much difference, right? And then 90 days of, within your program, people were going off. Because <laughs> they're like, oh like, my God. Okay, we see it now. We see it. Keep it coming. Like, yeah. It was probably like, you're three posts away from me saying stop. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's amazing because like, I guess people have seen the results of the work that I've been putting in. And like, they've been inspired to, you know, get on a fitness journey. And 
um, a lot of like, you know, even my family members, like they like it's a Filipino thing to joke around about, like, you know, being big and whatever. And even they have been like, wow, we've been watching you since the beginning and the progress has been amazing. Like, how did you do it? How many pounds have you lost? And then I'm like, all right, well, and then I posted like, you know, like after you posted, um, like my pounds and whatever, I wasn't trying to do that. Cause I'm like, I don't, I don't want people to know I was almost 200 pounds. Like, dang. Yeah. <laughs> but then I was like, you know what? Why, why hide it? I'm not too, I'm not, I'm not there anymore. Um, and, and yeah, like just putting the side by side pictures and it was like, what a four month difference. Like people were in shock, but they were also like really motivated. Um, like even men have been messaging me and not like, you know, like, that way but in in a way where it's like oh i need to get off my butt and like actually start doing something right like like you're lifting more than me i'm like yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah trust me when a woman's going hard like that a man will start feeling shame and actually you know get up and do something so yeah kudos yeah. To you for that and wow. like they were men, men that's awesome yeah um there were a couple of um workout outfits that i had when i was you know leaner really like I would think at my I was like 110 120 at one point and I was still for me it was still like kind of skinny like a little too skinny um and I didn't throw out like one pair of leggings so I'm like I'm gonna see if I can fit in there one day again I wore them yesterday wow and, yeah. that's incredible and I was so happy because those were expensive leggings but <laughs> But yeah, like just uh, people have been noticing like, you know, my waist because I, I wear waist trainers mostly for my posture um, and my form. And like every time I would move down, like, you know, um, like I guess like this an inch on the waist trainer. And then I went from like an extra large waist trainer to a medium. And now I got to move to a small. And I'm what? like, yeah. Oh, I'm, like, my goodness. Mind blowing. And um. And yeah, like I remember making jokes about my bat wings, these things, yeah. and they were just like, you know, just flopping everywhere. And now I'm like, I was telling my mom when I was moving my furniture, I'm like, mom, I got to go get stuff upstairs. Yeah. And she saw my biceps <laughs> up, upstairs. and she was just like, oh, wow. That's hilarious. So yeah, like people have really taken um, a notice to, you know, my progress. And I'm like, I've actually notice like more of um like just an improvement on my mental health too just from seeing you know wow I can accomplish something I really put my mind to I really like you know when I stay disciplined and just like motivated and continue to keep showing up for myself every single day you know no matter what happens in my life that's going on I know that this like my health and my fitness is a priority for me yeah. and that's what kept me going to the gym I even when I was crying my eyes out because I was heartbroken or I was sad or whatever go to the gym doesn't matter wipe my tears away and start lifting <laughs> yeah exactly you gotta just brush it off and keep it pushing that's yeah. amazing wow so Let's talk about the weight. I know you mentioned like you were like, ah, oh, I'm 200 pounds. So how much weight exactly did you lose since we started? So I started off at 185. 185. Um, 41 pounds, if I'm doing the math correctly. 40, wait, well, hold up, hold up. You lost 41 pounds. Yeah. 40, yo, yeah. that's like, could you imagine carrying 41 pounds in your bag and having yeah, to walk around with that all day? Yeah. I was carrying it in my stomach and my arms. <laughs> yeah, man. The organ protection was real. <laughs> like, you're like, I'm unsubscribing to that insurance. I'm done. <laughs> exactly. I don't need that anymore. And like, the thing is like just working with you and telling you what my goals are. Like I want abs. I want to lose some arm weight. I want to lose some like my back fat, but I want to keep the booty. <laughs> mm -hmm. And like, just, you know, like the exercises you've been giving me have been helping me like meet those goals so yeah my 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 bootay is like you know looking great <laughs> and, oh, and i'm shrinking love. in the waist my arms are shrinking we gotta, we gotta, we gotta crush the the asian uh stereotypes <laughs> exactly right no more back to leg it used to be just back to leg there was no nothing it was just and now it's like hey <laughs> oh, <that's good>. that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> but yeah like i had to really work at that because um, like I, I know that you can't target where you lose your fat. 
Mm. Like it's just gonna it's gonna be lost anywhere. But like it depends on the exercises and you know like how much you improve over time. And I just kept pushing it. I'm like, I know I want to grow my booty. I want to grow my glutes. I want muscle. And I remember like, well, you saw my very first progress picture of my um of my back, and I swear my lower back had like a sad face because it was just like oh my that. gosh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I noticed. I'm like, oh, my lower back is sad, and now it's like it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're too much. Oh my goodness. And yeah, and now I'm looking at my back. Like I remember the last back picture I took. I'm like, whoa, where those muscles come from? And I'm just like, mm-hmm. it's just, it's been amazing just seeing, you know, just how my body is, like, I guess responding <laughs> right. to the things that I'm doing. And the thing is that this wouldn't have been happening if I didn't stay focused on my nutrition. Mm. That was like the number one thing. I never thought I'd be like excited to make a salad. (laughs) So what? I just had one myself. I was excited, but I ate it. (laughs) You got to make it exciting. I put like apples in there, cherry tomatoes, barbecue chicken breast. Like, yeah. Yeah, nah, I haven't. I'm just so I'm. Yeah, I don't know if it's a guy. It's not a guy thing, but I'm gonna use that as a cop out. <laughs> a guy, so I just want it quick and done. That's it. Yeah, no, I got fancy with it because, like, I had. I'm like, if I'm gonna eat salads, I have to like them. So, mm-hmm. yeah, gotcha. and like the thing is, I'm like, I'm very, like, I watch my my calories like to a T. Like, I have, to, I need to make sure I don't, you know like go over my calories. And one of my biggest problems um, back then was late night eating. Mm. So I'd be, I'd wake up at like two o'clock in the morning, I'd be in a chip bag or eating like a whole box of Oreos and wonder why the weight wasn't coming off. And right? now it's- like, I don't it's, know what's happening. <laughs> you know, like, like you're stuffing an Oreo in your mouth. Like, yeah. I don't know. You'll have the milk and the Oreo. I don't know why I can't lose a pound. Or like the instant noodles, like what's going on? Here? Yeah, like oh, come on, man, come on. Like, and the thing is, you know how hard it is to give up pizza, yo. I, I just, I only had pizza like the other day because, like, I was moving in my stuff. I had a couple friends with me, so it was something easy for us to eat. And I, like, I used to be able to eat like an entire box of medium pizza to my face. I had two slices and I was done because I'm just like, wow. mm, it's not gonna fit my macro. <laughs> right, that's crazy. Yeah, so See, you're more conscious now. Exactly. That's the word I was looking for. Very like I'm very conscious now. And um, you know, somebody took me out for dinner and I'm just like, no, I can only have two fish tacos. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can have the third one. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. So small things like that like make a huge difference because like I'm turning like bad habits into good habits and that's what's like helping me like stay on track and also you know having a personal trainer who might yell at you if you don't <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, that's a <laughs> hey, listen you fortunately you've been on top of so much that it's like my um i have no reason to be yelling yeah now, you're so on top of stuff that if i don't hit reveal on the workouts you'll see it and be like yo even if you have to work out later. So like you're, 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 you're on top of things, which is incredible to me, you know? Yeah. Um, now let's talk about, uh, well, let's see two, two more, two things. So first, what would you say was the most important factor to your success? I know you mentioned a lot of things. You mentioned the workouts for the glutes, you mentioned the nutrition, you mentioned accountability, uh, what would you say above all was the determinant factor to your success in the program? I would say nutrition. Nutrition, okay. Yeah. Like when you showed me the meal plan that you created for me, and by the way, you also gave me grocery lists, like that was awesome. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to buy. And then there it is. Um, but yeah, like definitely nutrition because that was the most difficult thing for me to like keep at bay. Um I was lost in like, you know, and I was trying to take easy way out. It's like, oh, you know, weight loss pill or whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. But there is no easy way out. It, it is about being um, disciplined with what you put in your body. Yeah. Because I am a living testament to the fact that you can exercise six times a week and go off at the gym and sweat buckets. But if your nutrition is not good not shedding any weight at all. Maybe lose two pounds like after a week and then that two pounds is going to come back and then maybe even more like because I was just eating whatever I wanted whenever I wanted. Um, 
and I'm Filipino. I like my rice, but I had to cut a lot of that out, right? Like, I, I don't know if you heard um, about pandasal. Do you know what pandasal oh, is? One, no, that's one meal I've never heard of. Oh, yeah. Pandasal is actually like a bread. And um, um, I have like, I swear I was addicted to it. It was so good. Good. I haven't had pandasal since we started this journey. Wow. Um, yeah, and that's because it's like it's really fatty. <laughs> so yeah, just like being able to tell myself, like, if you're serious about this, there are things that you need to cut out. And I'm like, okay, well, if I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go all in. And what's more important to me, like, you know, five minutes of pleasure with like food or a lifetime of health. And that's that's basically where I'm at. Mm, I love it. What is worth it? The five minutes of pleasure or a lifetime of health. That is an incredible quote. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You should put that on a caption or something at some yeah. point. <laughs> but yeah. um, all right. No, so the nutrition was the key. So that's a good segue into the last question. Um, obviously, with nutrition being key, we know that it doesn't matter how much you exercise. If you don't eat right, nothing is going to happen. Right. So that means. You could have got an in-person trainer that trained you hard five days a week, but yeah. if there was no tweaks with the nutrition, even that wouldn't have worked. Yeah. So I have a lot of people that come to me and they're like, yo, I really want to get fit, but like online, I don't think that would work for me. I need something in person. I need a physical push, yada, yada, yada. I've heard all of that, um, right? But we know nutrition is key. So what do you say to that person that's like, man, I really want to lose weight, but this whole online thing, I don't know if it's possible to lose weight with someone online like what do you say to that person that's on the fence i am living proof that mm. an online trainer yeah, you're breathing. <laughs> you are breathing <laughs> i am living proof and like one of my girls um actually like got on it because i was talking to her i'm like i did oh, not Stephanie. see what up, what up Steph? <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i was just like i did not meet him one time in my life although you know you you're pretty close. I should, I should. Probably. Oh yeah, not you. Yo, I'm doing the um, Bible studies at my house. We're going to be doing them next month. So you got to come through. All right. All right. I won't expose where you live, but yeah, it should only be like 45 minutes from me. Yeah, yeah, not too far. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, people have, there have been other like personal trainers have been like, oh, I can like, why don't you come to my gym and I can train you and blah, blah. I'm just like, listen, my trainer like provides everything that I need from accountability to a meal plan to the exercises. Like they're all catered to my goals. And I think that was like the biggest thing for me is that you actually listened to what I wanted. You didn't just look at somebody who was Shamu <laughs> and was like, all right, we're going to like do like 30 minutes of cardio every single day and then like lift all that. Like, it's like you listened to what I needed and catered to those needs. And yeah. at the same time, it was like every time I would talk to you, like, and, you know, I would improve in, you know, my weight or something. You were always baking me up and gave me that extra boost that I needed. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> uh, yo, because I get hype. This is how, this is how, listen, I did a lot of things in my life to get dopamine. This is how I get it now. <laughs> So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The gym is how I get mine now too, yeah. and the pre workouts. But anyways, that's besides. <laughs> that's a whole other story. <laughs> that's a whole other story. <laughs> but like, yeah, it doesn't matter if the person is in is an in person trainer. Like, it's not about that. It's about the person that's training you actually cares about your journey and actually cares about your goals and like listens to you and. That's what I like. I just felt like I had this connection with you where I could be completely honest. Yo. Nobody was ever going to get the progress pictures that I put in trainer eyes. Nobody. <laughs> Not one set of eyes is going to see that except for you. Yeah. Because I'm just like, oh my God, just like rolls under rolls under rolls. <laughs> but like, I knew that like, I could trust you. And like, you asked for those progress pics, even though I was reluctant to like, to submit them every single time. I'm like, no, he needs to see where I'm at. And like, it's just been such a blessing to be able to work with somebody who cares. Wow. Like, Oh my goodness. So I'm I'm so thankful for that because I would not be where I'm at right now if it wasn't for you, like just cheering me on and telling me what I need to do. And on the other hand, as well, if it wasn't for me listening to you and actually yeah. trusting you on that. So it's like a hand in hand, you know, kind of relationship where it takes two to actually make it work. And people are going to have excuses like, yeah, you can go in person training. But then like, do they really care about your progress? Are they checking in on you every single time? Like, are they motivating you? And 
Yeah. And like, like I said, when I was talking to um, a couple of person, personal trainers at a couple of different gyms, I didn't get that vibe. I got the vibe of, I want the money. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not commiss. Yes, not, exactly. Yeah, no, I hear you. Yeah, no, that definitely just touched me. I'm probably going to cry with God later on today, for real, because, you know, he gives me the ability, the power to, um, you know, um, encourage. And that's, you know, at church yesterday, there was actually a sermon where we were talking about, like, the fruits of the spirit and how, um, you know, the Bible, it says, without me, you can do nothing. And that doesn't mean that you can't solve a math equation. But what it means is you can't truly express love, kindness, goodness, self-control. Um, you know, these things you cannot do outside of God. So yeah, hundred percent. I appreciate you just giving me that confirmation that, you know, my time with the Lord is having a benefit beyond just spiritually, but it's actually allowing people uh, to be touched and impact in a way that can change their physical life. And you know, everything else. So that's, yeah, for sure. You're, you're definitely a vessel, um, that like, you know, that not only are you touching people in, in a way with like, you know, with, with your podcast and stuff, but you're actually, I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I'm living proof. Like you help me learn to love myself again. Wow. And that is something that I, I can't remember the last time I looked at myself in the mirror and I was just like, I like what I see now. I'm just like, Hey girl, <laughs> Who's that? (laughs) And, and the thing is, it's like, it's not even like in a cocky kind of way. Like, like there's that humility as well, but it's like, you know, trust me, some of the exercises you give me, they get me humble. (laughs) 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 They get me, I'm sitting there like, Oh oh my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) But like, I believe that this is like in a way your ministry because you're reaching out to people who are losing hope, have lost hope, and you're encouraging them to be their best self. And I'm speaking from experience with that because I, I told you, like, I was ready to give up and you were like my last, (laughs) my last hope. And I was like, okay, well, if God wants me to go on this path then God's going to give me the funds and lo and behold, like I was able to do it. Wow. Damn. That's crazy. Yo, your story is amazing. I'm so excited for these Bible studies for you to come through and you know, us meet, man, yo, I, I am lost for words, but obviously, like you said, it takes two. So without you actually, because like the reality is I've been here coaching, I've been here doing my thing and not everyone that has come into my program has made it to these interviews or has made a transformation. And that's just me being transparent. Right. And Mm -hmm. the reason why is like you said, it takes two, you could get the best meal plan, the best workout. You could have someone hyping you up, but if you don't make that decision that you're going to change, then nothing changes, right? Things exactly. don't change until you change. So you've changed and that's why we're here. And I just thank you so much for your commitment. I thank you so much for your discipline and your trust because all of those three things are what brought you here. And I'm excited. It's just the beginning. The abs are coming. You're, yeah. you're going to be the Gymshark sponsored <laughs> athlete. Just now. <laughs> well, I want to thank you. <laughs> for believing in me when I couldn't believe in myself. Wow. And, you know, I was, I was sitting on that floor on the phone with you and I was just like, I don't know, man. And you know, my reluctance, I was like, oh, but it was only good. because I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. And I'm looking at my thighs. I'm like, Oh, looking at my chins. I only have one chin now. I have three. <laughs> yo, I, I, was, I was actually going to say that. That was the first thing I noticed when we copped on. I'm like, yo, her face is lean. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. So like, yeah, just um, just having somebody who who really believed in me and like and we didn't know, we didn't know each other, you know, but like there was just that. I don't know. The, this okay, vibe. Adam, you're in Adam's nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I, I digress. Yeah. But so. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> oh, man, it's been an amazing journey. And like, it's not there's no destination here. Like I'm going to keep going. It's a lifetime thing. And I'm hoping that like, you know, more people like stuff, you know, join up because like, I, I give a lot of the credit to you and just who you are as a person. Um, and of course as a trainer, but like, just, you know, if I can, I promise you, if I can do it, anybody can. And I, I, just to be transparent, like I had an issue with drugs and like a bad lifestyle and mental health. And 
fitness and like looking after myself, investing in myself through this program has like helped me stay clean and mm-hmm. stay focused and like tell myself like, you know, what life does what does God want for me? And it's not that, it's not that stuff in the past, but he does want me to fill myself with health. He, like he created me, he created this body and I'm, I'm here to take care of it. And so like, that's what I'm doing now is taking care of myself, taking care of my body. And in that way I can help take care of other people and be of service to the Lord. So. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I'm excited to see the progress down the line, like I said, just the beginning. Let's get it. Appreciate Let's you. Let's go. Thanks, Jerome. Awesome. Love you, man. God bless. Peace. Peace.